You shaped it in your mind. Total performance. Now the all-new Toyota Supra brings it alive. Super power created by a 3-liter, 24-valve, 200-horsepower engine. Super suspension, racing type, double wishbone, fully independent. Super cockpit, where you perform. The new Toyota Supra. Performance without compromise. Now the Supra dynasty begins. Who could ask for anything? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely have a little bit of a timing issue going on, but everything else is looking good. All right, we got the uh, coolant line on top, just kind of temporarily rigged up. I think this is from the Aristo um, when they shipped it over. It's it's kind of lopped off right here. Um, until I get the uh, shipped it over, it's it's kind of lopped off right here. Um, until I get the uh, radiator hose that I want, I don't really want to. Uh, modify any of the other hoses that I have. Um, I'm just going to put distilled water in today and uh, I plan on draining and flushing it, but I also don't trust that uh, I'm not going to have any leaks um, anywhere. So, you know, I, uh, I'm not a mechanic. Um, I've uh, noticed uh, a few other leaks elsewhere. Uh, so just to save myself a little bit of humiliation and embarrassment, I am going to try to uh, essentially uh, just again put some uh, distilled water in the system, count how much goes in, and then I do have the um, the red Toyota coolant, but at I think about $36 a gallon, I'd rather not waste it. So um, I am trying to charge the battery as well here, and uh, I'll try not to get anything on that uh, charger. Um, so without further ado, wish me luck here. I'm going to uh, start adding some distilled water, fresh off the shelf. I'm just going to uh, check underneath, make sure I don't see any grips already. Um, I think I got the, uh, I think I got the, um, drain plug sealed in the bottom of the mission motor radiator, but just to check and just to make sure it's not seeping already. Um, everything feels dry under here, so let me continue pouring. Oh, went a little too wild here and went out the, uh, overflow. Put my finger over it. Okay, we're about at a gallon so far. Very, very minor amount splash out in the overflow. I should probably hook up the overflow to something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so don't have anything hooked up at the moment. I might just uh, temporarily hook up the old overflow. Uh, I actually have it right here. It's kind of crusty. Um, I might just kind of poke it right here. Um, actually just hook it up this way. I realize that's not ideal. I'll try to try to get something a little better uh, long term, of course. But just for now, I know that's supposed to be below <clears throat> the overflow tank or overflow neck. But for right now, I'm just gonna try to at least get a little bit of coolant or cooling fluid in the uh, system. And we are at about a gallon and a half so far. Of course, I know we're gonna have to, have to perch some air in the line in the block and whatnot. And again, I plan on draining this, um, just kind of using this as a flushing agent. Uh, we're not in the winter months right now, so I'm certainly not going to let it get to uh, freezing temperature without draining and flushing the block. Okay, we're at two gallons. We 
two gallons in the tank looks like the radiator looks like it's getting pretty full again i'm sure there's a ton of air in the line that'll need to be purged so again we're at two gallons I'm counting Oh, it helped if I took the cap off. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Had a little bit of brain fog. Had a rough, uh, very adventurous weekend. Getting very little sleep Friday night because we were tuning this motor, um, trying to troubleshoot. I think we made pretty good headway. Saturday, I had Boy Scout uh, merit badge sessions all day. And... Uh, I got maybe an hour of sleep Friday night and a Saturday morning, maybe two tops. And uh, oh, and that's at maximum soar about a little over two and a half gallons right now. Um, as you can see, that's the uh, third gallon there. Right now, I'm gonna put this radiator cap on. So the answer is a little over two and a half gallons. It is thundering its tail off outside as you can hear. Um, I am going to uh, try a quick start and uh, just kind of look for any real quick leaks. Um, I'm probably not gonna run it more than a few seconds, believe it or not, um, just because we have had uh, a very, very, minute amount of time to tune um, since we found the issues uh, with the, um, the cam position sensor, uh, VR sensor. Uh, it, was, it was basically pinned out uh, so that um, basically there was no, no pin out that I could find. So I just pinned it out because supposedly it doesn't make any difference. Uh, what pin goes to what on the VR sensors on both the crank and the cam and uh, come to find out in both situations it did matter uh, and I've um, pinned them out I, I, identically uh, I believe the positive is on the right hand side as, as you're looking at the connector and the uh, tab is uh, facing up on both uh, cam and uh, crank sensors so anyways I'm gonna give it a little crank here and I hope um, everything clears okay. running I'm going to do. I'm going to try to dial in the uh, fuel injectors and then uh, I'll reach my uh, tuner uh, to see if he's available to help me uh, kind of dial in, uh, you know, idle and uh, we'll continue troubleshooting. 